what is up everybody my name is Kimrit and welcome back to another episode in this episode I'm going to show you how to make a clean looking logo that uh, is just cool and stuff and uh, yeah so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna go to a website called be funky and I'll leave a link down in the description below and we're gonna go to photo edit then we want to download some sort of logo I just found this online the Eagles PNG logo and also I went and found an orange, orange purple gradient background you can have whatever color you want I just picked an orange and purple and I took a gradient so it would look kind of nice then we go back to be funky and we want to open the gradient background you want to resize this and we're gonna uncheck that box right there we're gonna do 600 by 600 pixels and now that we resize that it's a logo size so we want to go to the layers and obviously add our logo and we just drag it in here make it a little bigger holding shift and alt so we don't resize it like this but instead we resize it like that and just gonna place it in the middle just like that and if it looks a little bit weird uh, like it's a little too big maybe then just place it down again so it looks perfectly fine like that I'm gonna move it to the middle again and just click on X okay got it now we basically have a logo but how are I gonna make this look pretty clean well I want to go to effect featured and we could for example oh sorry first you want to flatten layers then find just something that looks cool I think this one looks cool you can go and adjust it I like it when it's pretty sharp just like that that's actually a little yeah an amount I'm gonna buff that up to 78 and I click OK then I'm just gonna search on Google for um, like metallic texture go to photos I have it on Norwegian so it will look a little bit weird um like this one Wait till it loads. There you go. And then just save the picture. I'm gonna save it to downloads. Same with this one. Picture to downloads. And I'm gonna go back to be funky. I'm gonna go to layers. I'm gonna import both of the pictures. And I'm gonna add them over like this resize it so it fits the whole image put it how you want it do the same with the other one that looks pretty good and then what we want to do we want to go to options and on opacity we want to Put down to 35. Do the same for the other one. That. And click on flatten layers. Now the logo will look a little bit weird. But we can easily fix that by just going to effect. Feature. Going to the vintage colors. Check on shadows. Mount. And click OK. Here we have our logo. You'll see it kind of looks like my logo, which I could open right now, but it's going to take some time. So, this is how the logo will look. And I hope you guys like this video. Um, obviously, you could do this a little bit better than me. I didn't completely fill up the whole area. As you can see down here, there's some area with no texture. I'm sure that you do this. Uh, 
like perfectly fine and as you can see this looks pretty clean and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button it would really help me out and other than that i don't have anything to say uh goodbye thanks for watching i actually also forgot to tell you guys that if you want to save you just go to here and click on save computer jpeg or png that depends on uh, if you have uh, um, that depends on if you have uh, like a PNG image, something with uh, PNG stripes, or if you just have a normal image, you can just pick JPEG because PNG takes a lot more um, kilobytes. Just go ahead and save it. Go in file, and you can see here it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all of these, and there is our logo. We can double click it to open it up. I'm just gonna use photos and there you go that's our logo